Jajolian is officially 10 years old, since chapter 1 released on May 19th, 2011 with it being May 19th, 2021 right now. So how about we spend some time going through the top 10 chapters of the whole series to celebrate this amazing day. Also, just so you know, nearly every single chapter in this video is a spoiler, so if you aren't completely or nearly done with Jijolian, then get out. Number 10, Chapter 107. The newest chapter of Dejolian is one of the best in my opinion. It featured a lot, such as both Kato and Toru's monologues. This amazing scene with Josuke, Kato being able to attack Toru, and in my opinion, the best part of the chapter is Jobin and Kato's amazing flashback. All of these moments were really good, and I wouldn't say there's a single thing I didn't like about this chapter. But then again, it is very recent, so it could change depending on if this really left an impact or not. Especially when, as I'm recording this, it did come out like a few hours ago. Number 9 is Chapter 99. This chapter was the chapter that gave us the origin of the rock humans. Again. It's sad that the old one was retconned, but this version of their history is also very amazing. And we also got to see a lot of past characters from a bunch of previous parts, since this was Araki explaining a lot of things. And lastly, we did get the history of Rai and sort of Narisuke as well, which was also really fun to see. For number 8, I guess you can say that it's twice, because only 8.8% .8 of my audience is actually subscribed to my channel. But also, number 8, Chapter 92. This chapter is on here because of this amazing scene with Josuke and Holly Joestar Kira. This scene was honestly really emotional, and this panel right here is amazing, since it did really make Josuke's whole journey circle back. Number 7 is Chapter 95, and this is another chapter where a lot changed. And it was pretty much Jobin and Narisuke's encounter, with the rest of the Higashikata family watching, well besides Josuke and Kato. And this chapter basically connected a lot of loose ends from the previous chapters, which seemed pretty random, and the little mini fight between Jobin and Narisuke was amazing. Overall, a really beautiful chapter. Number 6 is chapter 83, and now this is the chapter that pretty much changed all of Jijolian. This was during the fight of Urban Gorilla and basically told us everything that was going to happen in the future of Jijolian, or well, a majority of what would happen. And it also featured the flash forward, which we still don't know what's going to happen with. Number 5 is chapter 51. This is during the Vitamin C and Killer Queen arc, and it is when Kira and Josefumi steal the Rokakaka from Aisho. But then, a few months later, they get found out from this by Damo and Yatsuyu. And this chapter is really good because we get more interactions with Josefumi and Kira, from ones that we saw from chapter 50, and especially with the boat scene right before Damo and Yotsuyu find out, as a good calm before the storm moment. And we also find out how Carrera is included in all of this, even though it makes no sense at all from the Love Love Deluxe arc, please Araki explain this. Also, this chapter features the second best stand rush in the whole series. Number 4 is Chapter 50, and this is the chapter that gave us the origin of Joseph Umi, with his mother practically abandoning him, and we also get the amazing hospital scene with Joseph Umi, Holly, and Kira. And then we cut around 18 years later where we find out that Holly is sick and Joseph Umi and Kira decide on a plan to get the Rokakaka fruit in order to save her. And this chapter is really amazing to me because it's probably the best example of the dynamic between Kira and Joseph Umi, which is in my opinion the best friendship in all of Jojo. Number 3 is chapter 52. 
And guess what? It's another chapter in the Vitamin C and Killer Queen arc. This one features the battle of Kira and Joseph Humi against Damo and Yatsuyu on the boat. This chapter was amazing since it really seemed like Damo would just absolutely destroy Kira and Joseph Humi with his months of researching and his perfect opportunity to strike. Since Kira and Joseph Humi had nowhere to really run to since they were stuck on a boat. However, the best part of this chapter is definitely how Kira was able to turn this situation around in such a clever way and ultimately win at the end of this encounter and honestly tells us how smart Yoshikage Kira really is and is possibly one of the smartest characters in the whole series. Number 2 is chapter 53. And this is the end of the Josephumi and Kira flashback, and it certainly ends on a good note. This chapter had the best stand rush in the whole series, in my opinion, with Josephumi attacking both Aphex twins in a very emotional fit of rage. And honestly, the whole scene is just so good. It had a lot of amazing panels, and seeing the origin of Jijolian was definitely amazing. My favorite chapter in not just Jojolian but all of Jojo's Bizarre Adventure is chapter 49. This started the whole flashback of the Vitamin C arc and is really good because it shows us the best of Kira and just gives us a slight hint of Joseph Humi. And this chapter was really good at showing us how smart Kira really is with being amazing build up to the amazing relationship between Kira and Joseph Humi. And yeah, it's pretty weird how my favorite chapter in Jijolian is how it all actually started, but this chapter was just really good and is peak Jojo for me. Uh, sorry this video was just the vitamin C arc and some bits of the nose things, those are just the best of Jojo to me right now.